Hello Scorpio and welcome to your water reading. This water reading has no particular mind, uh, no particular time frame in conjunction to the reading. It's just a general energy ascension reading showing you a paths, not the paths to ascension, many paths there are to ascension. So I am going to lay out a flying bird card spread. And this flying bird card spread is with a body with wings and the body is represented by an Osho card and the wings I lay out with my with the Los Carabeo cards and the Los Carabeo cards are representing your fear, your responsibility to that fear the intuition, the intelligent action and also the acceptance and the point of relaxation where you come to peace of mind and the final card is the arrival can't shake them anymore okay so you have your fear your responsibility or the ability to respond to that fear your intuition your intelligent action your point of relaxation and exception and at the end the arrival so let me read out you this card of ordinariness it is the eight of rainbows And the Eight of Rainbows is page 152. The figure walking in nature shows us that the beauty can be found in the simple ordinary things of life. We so easily take this beautiful world we live in for granted, cleaning the house, tending the garden, Cooking a meal, the most mundane tasks are, take on a sacred quality when they are performed with your total involvement, with love, with for, and for their own sake, without thought of recognition or reward. You are facing a time now when this is easy, natural and utterly ordinary approach to the situations you encounter will bring far better results than any attempt on your part to be brilliant, clever or otherwise extraordinary. Forget all about making headlines by inventing the latest widget or dazzling your friends and colleagues with your unique star quality. The special gift you have to offer now is presented by the just taking things easily and simply one step at a time. Ordinariness. Yeah, something I have problems with as well. Sometimes it happens that you become one in some rare moment what the ocean, the tremendous wildness, wildness of it, and suddenly you forget your split, your schizophrenia, you relax, or moving into Himalayas, seeing the virgin snow on the Himalayan peaks, suddenly a coolness surrounds you and you need to be false because there is no other human being to be false to. You fall together or listening to beautiful music, you fall together. Whenever is whatsoever situation, you become one, a peace, a happiness, a bliss surrounds you, arises in you, you feel fulfilled. There is no need to wait for these moments. These moments can become your natural life. These extraordinary moments can become ordinary moments. That is the whole effort of Zen. You can live an extraordinary life in a very uh, ordinary life. <laughs> Cutting wood, chopping wood, carrying water from the well, you can be tremendously at ease with yourself. Cleaning the floor, cooking food, washing the clothes. You can be perfectly at ease because the whole question is of you doing your action, totally enjoying the lighting in it. And it is something I relinquish in now as well. I'm just delighting in this reading. And this reading is representing your fear by the Five of Cups. So what would that be, the Five of Cups representing your fear? It would be your happiness. Are you afraid, um, Scorpio, that some happiness is uh, maybe not coming your way? 
well, your responsibility for being, or the ability to respond, to be able to make yourself happy is to be the queen of pentacles. And the queen of pentacles is all about uh, her being a Harris, a wealthy middle-aged woman with brown hair will play an important role in making your dream come true. If you're that brown lady with long brown hair, you will, however, be have to be careful to sacrifice your feelings not to gain power. So, that's uh, what this card says, but it also says you need to use your assets to uh, the benefits of your happiness. And the, in the right intuition is to be the king of wands in that perspective. And the king of wands is all about being a trustworthy person. So be trustworthy to yourself, be trustworthy to others, be a reliable person, a person who is at ease with himself and is totally capable of managing his own business and affairs, especially with the intelligent action being the hierophant, being the righteous one, take the righteous action. You can be manipulative, but use it to the good advances of everybody, especially yourself in the first place, but also the benefit of the community and other people. So whatever I'm doing, it's something like that because I show you a path to ascension and the point of relaxation exception is fortune card. So the 10 of pentacles, it's about all about being uh, fully fully uh, aware of your assets and uh, being abundant around it. So let me just take it out quick, this Ten of Pentacles, and read it out for you. And then I will conclude with the Indecision card of the Two of Pentacles, which is an advancement of your uh, development. So the Ten of Pentacles is fortune, an inheritance, winnings, liquidation, the fulfillment of your dream may cause you to change the residence or make acquaintances with will, which will prove to be useful. So definitely make acquaintances, it's just about uh, being fully um, a righteous person, rightly shapen and uh, meeting the acquaintances to make a new decision about earnings. This is the indecision card about earnings. So you have to make a decision about your earnings and taking the right path of uh, and definitely uh, relinquishing in the ordinaries of daily being, daily life. So definitely uh, enjoy the small things in life. So I guess Scorpio, that concludes your reading for this. I hope you liked it and up to the next time. Bye.